what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm opening the Transformers War for Cybertron Galactic Odyssey Collection. This is the Micron Micromasters. I did not get this when it was available originally and I got it much later. It was still on Amazon so I thought, eh, sure, why not? And uh, yeah, this is part of an Amazon exclusive sub-series that was going on with the Earthrise lineup. And uh, the package does look pretty cool. You know, you got that artwork right there. So that's very nice. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and open it. It's uh, in the style of the Selects figures. And yes, I, I peeled that off, which I kind of regret doing. But uh, yeah, there is the pack of the six MicroMasters. You can also see, actually, I will zoom out for this portion. You can also see the map. So that's pretty cool. Uh, with the Unicron right there, ooh, how scary is that? And then, what is that, where the Quinnesons live? Junkion or something? I don't know, I'm not an expert. But uh, yeah, those are the MicroMasters that you get out of this pack. Uh, you also get the instructions, which is good if you're trying to figure out the names. Ooh, I like that artwork right there. And uh, you also get this little card thing that I do have from the, I think it's Botropolis pack. And it's got a little description on the, the Micron planets and the MicroMasters, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you get the white sheet, and of course you get the instructions. Now, I don't think I need the instructions, even though there is one particular team of MicroMasters that I don't have. However, I don't know the names off the top of my head, so I'll probably need it just for that. Uh, there's stuff on the back of the instructions. Okay, just the weapon modes. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop these guys open, shall we? Starting with this little orange guy at the bottom here. His name is... which one is this? Is this... Uh, I think it's Sting Racer? Is that correct? Yes, this is Sting Racer. So that's... Uh, that's his name, and uh, he's got a pretty cool color scheme. I like that orange. I think that fits with that car. It's like a summertime something in the beach. I don't know. Uh, I, I did like the MicroMasters, but I do understand why they don't really do them anymore. Um, but yeah, he looks pretty cool. His head kind of looks like Winnie the Pooh with the ears, but uh, you can't really see that too well. Uh, I'll try to zoom in a little better later, but uh, this one has my favorite deco out of the entire lot. Uh, this one is Windstorm, I believe, and uh, yeah, I, I love this cyan or teal color scheme with the yellow highlights and the flames, even though I could see that the flame, oh no, the flame's not offset, I, I thought it was, but uh, yeah, he's definitely got the best color scheme out of the bunch. Uh, some people are going to disagree because it's too flashy and bright, but you know what, that's, that's kind of nice. And also look at the other three at the top there. Uh, so this one right here has some history to it. I believe they named him something else. Uh, what did they name him? I think it's Runner. Uh, I think that's this guy. And I think the original name, I could be entirely wrong on this, I think this MicroMaster is originally Barricade. But because the Siege Line already has a Barricade, they decide to swap out the name. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I believe that this, as well as the yellow card dude, is what completes one of the MicroMaster teams in Generations, which is something that they didn't normally do. They had about two or three of the characters, but now you get a full set. I think they've only done that twice, so that's cool. Uh, let's see, and then this guy's the other section. He is, um, who is he? Motorhead. Okay, so this is an original MicroMaster as well, and I think that is the original name. Um, but uh, there you go. There he is. And I just so happen to have with me right now, I'm sorry for the lighting, I know it's really dark. I just so happen to have the rest. So there we go. There is a full MicroMaster team. Yes, they're repaints of each other, but it doesn't matter. You get the full set, so that's pretty cool. And yes, of course they're gonna fall over because they're Mike Masters, especially that two pack. They just, they really like to fall over. Uh, we also have a weapon to pop out that can go right there. We have this little yellow dude right here. His name is, da -da 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 -da. I think that's Road Burner. And these two I'm not entirely familiar with and I've never had the mold, so. This is my first time using these, and of course he's just going to fall over. And then this guy, I believe, is Fireguard. 
And I do believe that they're references to original MicroMaster characters, but again, I'm not too familiar with them. And what's cool about this is you can use that as just a basic gun, but what's really supposed to happen is you're supposed to slide this from the bottom. Oh, that's kind of weird. And plug that into place. Hopefully I'm getting that right. Yes, I am. Come on. Is that in? I don't feel like that's in all the way. Oh, it is. Okay, there we go. And then there's a little tab right at the top there that that's supposed to go into, but... Oh, okay, there we go. And, uh, yeah, I like these little guys, especially. I like the combining MicroMasters more than the, uh, the regular ones. Uh, I like the paint deco on this guy. He looks pretty good with the green and blue highlights. Yeah, that's very nice. So uh, that is the entirety of the MicroMaster pack. I will transform them into their weapon modes, and then I'll transform them into their alt modes. But uh, there we go. There is the set. I think out of anyone, I like these two, and then I like the color scheme of this. I mean, I like the other three as well, but I mean, just for the sake of not having this mold already. So there's that. Um, also, I think this peg is supposed to fold back for this mode because I'm not seeing it on here. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the weapon modes. I won't transform these two right away just because their weapon mode is pretty much their vehicle mode. It's a very cheap thing to do. Uh, but uh, let's see. Okay, then we plug the feet together, rotate them around. I should have brought another figure to try the weapon mode. Oh, I'm transforming it into the car. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this will flip out. And I'm trying to remember which one goes on top and which one goes on the bottom. I believe this one goes on top. It really doesn't matter. You can swap them however you want. Yes, this one goes on top because I've always had a problem with bringing the legs up properly. So, yeah, because you needed that space and I just couldn't get it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this guy will transform in a similar fashion, but you will not have to rotate the limbs around. Also, I'm sorry about the focus. These guys are super small, so it's really hard to uh, home in on the camera. Um, oh, I guess you could try and do that, but it won't really work. Okay, home in on the camera. I don't know why I'm saying that like that. But anyways, there's the gun mode. It's a stupid gun mode, but it's a gun mode that exists if you want to try it. So there's that. Uh, as far as these two are concerned, I need to remember exactly how these two go. Uh, I'm not as familiar with these as I am with the other guys. So I'm actually going to flip the instructions around and take a look at that. Uh, let's see, who's on top and who's on bottom? <laughs> There's a joke there. Okay, so... Man, the transformation for these guys is a little more complex than I had realized, um, or they just look weird in general. I think it's just they look weird. Um, let's see, so these will plug in like so. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so we got that, and the legs are like that. Uh, the feet, oh, okay, I get it, because it's going from car mode to this. Okay, so. I pretty much have the alt mode, I believe, done, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to look at the, the final image, because maybe that will help, and, uh... Oh, okay. Well, that's different. So they, they kind of show the weapon mode separate? Okay. So, I'm not entirely sure if I'm getting this right anymore. <laughs> uh, I am professional, aren't I? I don't know. I'm just going to do it my way. How about that? Okay. Then I can look up a review. I'm sure someone's going to comment, well, you're doing this wrong. I don't care at this point. The instructions don't really bother, so... Oh, no, the instructions do. It's just late in the images for some reason. I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. Okay, the instructions show it like that. There we go. There's a gun mode. It's weird. You've got uh, the front of a... What is that? A Firebird on top there? It, it's a weird alt mode. I don't like it or not the alt mode but the gun mode but nobody cares about the gun modes there's one car take a look at that looks like a chevy bel air with an engine on the top that's very nice i love the paint applications on that uh we've got this one which is what was it a camaro or a mustang can't remember which car it is exactly but that is very nice oh sorry focus there we go uh let's see uh there's a 
I think a tab of flash plastic that's stopping this from... Oh no, there's an actual tab on the back of the hands as well. Which made it difficult. There we go. There it is. I think that is a Camaro, maybe? I, I can't remember what it is. Alright, so, let's take a look at this guy. Whoever you are. You all need name tags. I'm just saying it. Uh, then this will flip up. This was kind of a creative way to transform the figure. You kind of need to open up the hands. Oh, maybe that's why it's complex here. I don't know. I, I hardly look at the instructions. I'm very professional. You know. There's the car. There we go. And then, uh, let's see, rotate these around. It's also very fiddly Transformers figures. You know, it's just very tiny. So, And then, let's see. Okay, well... I guess the hands need to open for that as well. And then plug into place. This one's a little more finicky than the other guys. Uh, some of these tabs just don't really want to line up properly. There we go. Uh, nope, doesn't really want to. There we go. Okay, got that. And that will plug onto the front. Doesn't really want to plug into the front for some reason, but uh, there you go. Some sort of race car. You know, you got race cars in this, so that's awesome. Everybody loves race cars. All right, so now for the alt modes of these two. What we're gonna do is, it shows that you're supposed to rotate the head. I don't feel like you need to. It's just really tiny and in there, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, it shows that the arms will fold up into there like so. Into there like so. And then for this, you want to combine the sides and then bring them up like that. Okay, the color scheme is starting to work for the alt mode more so than the robot mode. I don't like these wheels. They should really have pins. Okay, so for this guy, again, it shows rotate the head. I'm not going to do that. I get it for the sake of the gun mode, but I don't care about the gun mode. All right, so that flips up. Uh, you're going to flip these in and they will tab into place. Oh, these wheels are pinned, so that's cool. Thank you for that. And we plug those into that. Uh, we take these sections, open them up, and then we combine them, and hey, ball jointed knees! It gives you more articulation. Woo! And these will fold up into that. And there you got another alt mode. I do like the fact that it's got some sort of gunner or whatever you want to call it at the top there, so even if you have the separate alt modes, they can still do stuff, but these are meant to combine, and oh, I like that a lot. You know, you can use it as a gun. It looks dumb, but you can do that. I love the combination of that alt mode. Finally, a Micro Master combination that actually works, and I just realized that the front wheels here are pinned as well. Huh. That was a cool flip. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that is the MicroMaster setup. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I will see you guys next time.